everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel Budget with Bliss. My name is Katie and this channel is all about keeping myself accountable with my budget and finances using the cash stuffing method and creating general financial well-being, also on a debt-free journey too. Uh, apologies if you can hear, the washing machine is on in the background, um, but it just is what it is I'm afraid and as you can probably tell I am feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, I am kind of hopefully at the tail end now of a pretty rubbish cold um, that I've been suffering with this week. Um, since I kind of come back from my weekend away, um, I think I've just knackered myself out basically and feel a, a bit run down, um, which just happens when you kind of go full pelt on a weekend, doesn't it? Sometimes it just catches up with you. Um, but we are here today to, um, check in for week three of December's cash stuffing and close out November's, um, month, uh, yeah, because it's the end of the month for me, uh, it is actually payday today, so once we've kind of closed off this month, I will then um, cash stuff for the first week of December's budget, but the fourth week of December, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's crack on and see where we have spent money this week. So it's a very long... Um, check in because I did cash stuff early as I was going away so um yeah we've got quite a bit to catch up on so uh, I think we left on Sunday because I think I talked about the bakery order that I made um from Winnebee's bakery I came home and from the weekend and smashed those in like two days <laughs> they were so so tasty but we're starting um Monday the 11th uh, that was a no spend day and also had nine pounds come in from Vinted, so that was brilliant. And then again on Tuesday, a no spend day, and then eight pounds fifty came in from Vinted as well. Um, if you have seen, I did a little game day video with my uh, kind of Vinted purchases, uh, not purchases, Vinted sales um, last week, uh, which I think only went up yesterday, maybe even this morning, I can't remember, but yeah. Uh, so then Wednesday, I spent six pounds sixty nine. Um, posting some Christmassy stuff to friends and family. Oh, that was a bit skew with. So that is marked as Christmassy. Um, and then I made another unbudgeted spend. And it's, again, it's another gig ticket. <laughs> I can't help myself. But um, a band called Five Finger Death Punch announced a tour. And I was supposed to see them at Download last year, but they pulled out of Download. Um, or this year I should say, uh, and then they've got a band called Ice Nine Kills supporting them, uh, who I really like as well, um, so yeah, it was a no-brainer for £71.20 to see two really good bands, so yeah, that's fine, uh, <laughs> we'll sort that out uh, when payday comes, well today, we have already sorted it out, so it's fine. Uh, Thursday, so this was the start of my road trip down south, to Plymouth um so all of this money that I spent over these next kind of few days is all um from the creep or treat challenge that I was using to save up for this weekend so um I spent 57 pounds 71 pence on petrol as we kind of made our trip there picked up my friend on the way um yeah, grabbed some petrol. We hit Tesco's just to grab some snacks and stuff uh, for the room. We then hit services and we spent 15, oh, I spent £15.40 on a really, really nice meal. Like it was like canteen food, but it was like a farm shop. It was lovely, like the really nice sausage and mash um, and a coffee to keep me going because I was doing the driving. Um, it was actually a pretty good drive there. And we had our like playlist on the go from our group of friends we all kind of chipped in some songs and stuff from on Spotify it was really really good um nice easy drive down um and then that night we went to a rock fit class so we worked out um just uh descended on one of the Plymouth groups um and had a really really good fun time Christmas tracks are in there like it was really really good um and then afterwards we hit Weatherspoons um and had a couple of drinks and some food, um, my other half, um, he was at home. But I told him my table number and where we were, and he sent me shots. 
<laughs> I was not expecting that. And they were like big shots. They were like double shots. They were huge. One was like a peanut butter one. It tasted nothing like peanut butter. It was hideous. And the other one was a baby Guinness, which I don't mind, which is like coffee and um, Baileys. So, <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, oh, I'll do gin and tonic now. And this gin came out with no tonic. It was just a little short glass just with gin in it. And he was, I was like, are you trying to kill me off here? <laughs> and he's like, no, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. And then he ordered the tonic later. But yeah, that was funny. Um, so Friday, uh, we had a bit of a nightmare at the hotel. The fire alarm kicked off at five o'clock in the morning. Um, it was not a drill. Um, but they have this system where the lights start flashing and spinning around in the room. The alarm is ridiculously loud. And I had earplugs in because the person I was sharing with, um, had a cold and like didn't want to snore and stuff. Um, wake me up or keep me awake. And I just woke up to her over the top of me and like apparently she was screaming, I was screaming. Um, and then we were kind of trapped in our room. We couldn't actually get the door to unlock. So it was it was absolute chaos. Um, thankfully, when we got down to reception, they like we eventually did get out. But um, when we got down, we didn't make it all the way down the stairs and someone shouted up saying, it's a false alarm. And we we're like, for God's sake. Um, we were both quite distraught really it was horrible horrible experience but um yeah thankfully it wasn't a legit actual fire um but we did complain like we couldn't get back to sleep um this is the night that we had our party booked so <laughs> it was a really long day friday um but the hotel were really nice they gave us um free breakfast that we hadn't already paid for and we'd have to pay for parking even for the weekend so um the, all the staff in there were really really nice the rooms were just a bit weird um but yeah so we then did, couldn't lock didn't want to lock the door the rest of the time we were there so it felt like slightly unsafe but then also want to make sure we could get out if there was virtual fire anyway uh so yeah that was the start of our day um we then went to the cozy club and met with a group of friends and we had brunch together a couple of cocktails the cherry bake while the cozy club is like top tier love that one um and i spent one pound fifty at tesco i think it was just a bottle of water um and then a taxi for 10 pounds later on that night and then 17 pounds 50 on drinks at the party so we did pre-drink beforehand um which was quite nice so one of our friends had got an airbnb so they had like living room kitchen set up kind of thing so we all kind of trundled around there and um <clears throat> had some drinks beforehand one of the girls came down she was scottish and she had scottish notes so <laughs> i was like oh my god please gonna see your scottish notes obviously watching um jules scottish highland on a budget and budget with kerry um even like the candy tally she has like different notes as well that aren't like just the english ones so i, I, I thought of you all as she was handing around her 10 10 pound note with these otters on she's like oh notes are so much nicer and they really are uh, but they don't feel quite the same. They feel a bit more, I don't know, rough. Um, they're not the same kind of smooth plastic like the English ones. Um, but yeah, that was uh, a highlight of the weekend for me <laughs> to see a Scottish note in real life. Um, but yeah, so that was a really good night. Um, didn't drink too much. Um, just danced mostly and sweated it out, I think. Uh, then on Saturday... Um, we went for a walk around a National Trust place, Saltram, I think it's called. Um, met with a load of other people who were at the party the night before. So it's kind of like, you know, you had to kind of... <laughs> and there was like a competition to see who actually was going to make the walk, you know what I mean? Like after the night after, morning after the night before kind of situation. But a big group of us did make it. Um, so it was £3 for parking there. And then grabbed a coffee. They, they were still doing pumpkin spice lattes there, so had one of those um we did the walk which was amazing um and then me and my friend went to get our tattoos that we've had booked in for ages so i'll just show you i don't know if you can see it there's a little lightning bolt there it's a little bit flaky still but yeah that was the latest addition um to kind of represent like the rockfit kind of friendship group like how how much we kind of enjoy it <laughs> i guess we've got actually like officially branded about their company now <laughs> but yeah obviously um it's a lightning bolt so you wouldn't know if you just looked at it but um yeah i love it 
and I think it was quite a cute little place to have it as well so yeah my friend had her first ever tattoo so she was so nervous but she did really really well and got through it and um was just like is that it when they started tattooing and they were like we told you <laughs> anyway uh so after that tattoo and walk we needed mcdonald's uh so i spent six pounds 18 there and then um that evening we had a table booked at revolutions so there was like 14 of us i think turned up to revolutions um and we had some drinks and some food it was quite nice um sang some christmas songs because they were like playing them on the on the stereo or whatever um so it was good and then we went to the boom battle bar and did the axe throwing which was really good fun i really enjoyed that got some really good action shots someone of me like throwing them um i came second out of our group so i was quite chuffed with that for my first time ever doing it um no injuries neither no one got sliced so that was good <laughs> um and then i also i bought myself some happy mail 15 pounds 80 i spent online for some happy mail um, which you'll have to wait to see what that is. I'm very excited for it though. Um, and yeah, I think that was it for Saturday. That was a very, yeah, that was a good, that was a good day Saturday. Um, it wasn't an early start. I was going to say Friday was the early start. Yeah. Uh, so no wonder I am shattered. <laughs> um, so Sunday was the trip home we did go and walk down to the hoe in plymouth which is like their seafront with the lighthouse and all that kind of stuff and just had a a quick walk around there um before we left uh so we then grabbed some petrol 37 pounds and 28 pence filled the tank back up and then we stopped at the same services that we went to on the way there because yeah the food is really really nice and I spent £19.25 pence there, did bring back a uh, cheesecake brownie. Oh, that was delicious. Um, so then on to this week and Monday was a no spend day. So I was back to work. Uh, and then Tuesday, uh, I spent £5 um, on a Christmas gift for my manager that someone was collecting for. And that was the day I woke up feeling like absolute you know what. Um, and then I've not been back at work since. And then I'm on leave now anyway. Um, so yeah, just trying to get myself better before, um, what do you call it? Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be ill for the big day. Obviously got lots of family and stuff to see. So I really want to make sure I am on top form for that and don't spread any germs either. But I do feel like today I'm in a much, um, I'm on the downward hill now. I feel like yesterday I felt absolutely rank. Today I'm feeling much, much better, although I don't sound it, but I am getting there. So yeah, that was my week. Um, should we see what we've got left? So I do have actually, quite a bit of money left over for me, which is good. Um, so I didn't spend all of the money that I had saved for the weekend away. Um, so I've put what is left over in here. And then I've actually still got my weekly um, petrol allowance it's still in its envelope. I've not touched the weekly allowance, which is great. So I've got that to unstuff as well. So uh, that is five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine pounds in one pound coins. And then some shrapnel, I'll count in a moment. Uh, yeah, everything else there is empty. So that's that for November's budget. Um, so we've got 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 
84 yeah 84 pounds plus the change so that is pretty good i am chuffed with that so we'll start off with just getting rid of some of this shrapnel um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the four one two three four and put it into the penny savings challenge just to kind of give it a bit of a boost whilst i actually have quite a bit of change to put in um and then so that's for five pounds twenty one two three four five six five twenty six yeah okay five point two six let's get the old challenge out so i've got this one which is like a one to 100 penny savings challenge from scottish highlander on a budget the lovely jules who isn't very well at the moment so i hope you get better soon jules uh right so the highest is 93 so minus Lovely, that was a nice, a big chunk of numbers crossed off there. And like all the high ones as well, which is good. <clears throat> Lovely, so we can stuff all pocket pounds. And copper chops gets the pennies. And then silver sausage gets the silvers. Lovely. Oh, is that a shop? Okay, so we now have, oh, I've forgotten how much we've got. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80. 80 pounds to play with, which is great. Um, so I'm going to go into here, and because I've taken out some money out of the tarot challenge, I'm going to put it back in. Um, I think I've taken 19 pounds out. So, uh, 10, 15, 16, 17 at the moment. And these are 10, 20, 30, 2, 4, 5, 6. So, should have 36. So, yeah, that's 19. 19, 17 is 36, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm going to put in the 20. So, just need to cross off another one on the star here. So we are putting in one pound, but we're also just kind of making it right as well. So that is good. So we've got 37 in there now. Um, I'm also going to pop 10 pounds into my buffer. Actually, I might put 15 in there. There's some children outside now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop in an extra £5, so it'll be 15 in total. Oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> there's children outside. 5, 10, 15, I guess they're all off from school now, aren't they? <clears throat> there we go. So that's that top back up. And let's see then what we can do with my other savings challenges. Ooh. For some reason. So, how much have we got left to go on this? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I might put the 6 in. Yeah, we'll put the 6 in. Get this a bit closer to being done. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should just only be like another 10 pounds to go in this one. Uh, so I've got 50 in the bank, 55, 65, 70, one. And this tracker is from Budging Meg. Okay, 
so thirty-five. I'll put. Should I put ten in here? Yeah, why not? So five and ten. No, <laughs> each set is is a fiver. Not for okay. Let's give that a waft, and this is from uh, Mummy's Plan. So it's ten pounds. Starting that one yet. Uh, so I popped this this envelope and the insert is from uh, Eva at the Rocking Witch, and then I popped a couple of challenges in here. They're both from Budget with Abby. So one is the little Christmas freebie that I got, and the other one is put the kettle on. So they're just a couple of little challenges um, for a uh, night away I've got in January. That's a very last minute thing I've just decided to do. So um, yeah, I think I will start these so i think i'll put five off of this uh what should i do green so cross off the little reindeer and i think i'll put in this four as well and pop off one of these ones there we go so it's nine pounds to go in there to start that off um, so I think this saves 30 and this is 25, so it'll be 55 pounds in total, which is kind of enough, I think, for um, spending money for one night away. It'll just be food I'll be buying, basically. Uh, get in there. Wait, I'm not going in the right way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's that one started. Um, Twenty left, so I think I'll pop five pounds in here. I could have game day this really, couldn't I? But I think I just want to decide where this one goes this time. So um, I've got five in here already, and these are worth two pounds each crystal. So if I finish this crystal, that's one, and then this one is two, so that makes three. And this one makes five. Uh, that's for a gig I've got in February. So ten pounds is in this challenge now. Again, this one's from Budgeting Meg. Perfect. Um, let's pop a fiver into Cinderella cash as well. Get that going for the holiday. Another five pounds there. So we need about fourteen hundred, I think. Um, before like the end of July. Yikes. Um, I won't do little moon. I'll do magic beans though. Got 20, 45, 50, 5. Oh, I don't know what to do with the next one. Uh, I've not rubbed this off from when I took money out of it, so that's why I'm not filling it back in. It needs to get up to 85, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85 pounds, yeah. And then I can start crossing it off again. Um, I don't know what else to cross off. Right. Just put another fiver into um, this one, the star. Yeah, why not? It's not the star, it's the tarot challenge. <laughs> uh, okay, where are we at? So we've got these on death to go. So two, four, 
and then one on the star makes five. Let me blow. Okay. <clears throat> put that away and put five pounds in there. And that is everything. I know this video is super long. Um, I might try and cut some out maybe if I can, but probably won't. Uh, so you've got five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 42 pounds in this challenge now. So just over halfway because this saves 80 in total. So that is great. Uh, washing machine is starting to ramp out now as well, so everyone, everything is telling me to stop filming. Um, I hope to get this up on day before Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve Eve. So um, yeah, I will speak, see you then. Um, but I really hope you have a great, great Christmas. Um, I don't know if I'll get another video out before it is Christmas, maybe on Christmas Eve, but we'll see how things go. I'll see everyone's up and about and you know meeting family friends doing things celebrating and that now the children are off school and um yeah hoping you are having a great time this christmas um hit me a comment in the box below um hit me a like hit me a follow subscribe whatever you fancy um really appreciate you all being here um i'm really close to 800 subscribers i think i was 799 when i checked earlier today which is absolutely insane so th thank you each and every one of you who subscribes and follows me on this journey i really do appreciate you all being here um have a very very merry christmas if um you don't watch any of my videos before before uh any more of my videos before christmas but yeah and uh take care bye